project here. Going to install these uh, <clears throat> Kuriakin LED fender strips, basically supplemental brake lights and turn signals for my Roadmaster. Uh, already got the trunk off sitting over there. And we'll just follow the directions here and uh, see what we come up with. Okay, so the first step is to remove these three bolts, one, two, and then one up there to uh, remove the uh, head tail light. <clears throat> so pretty easy. Those are uh, 10 millimeter bolts. No big deal. Went ahead and pulled the saddlebags off uh, so I could get a little bit better angle on this. Uh, I think it'll also be necessary since it looks like these essentially line up behind the uh, trim. Line up pretty well there. I think they'll look pretty good. <clears throat> anyway, I got the four, or I'm sorry, three bolts out of the headlight here. And it's not a headlight, it's a tail light. Unless you're going backwards. And you can see in here it's kind of held on that little bolt right in there hangs in there but man this is dirty after just uh, I've only got oh 1400 miles on it I'm not sure if you can see it but there's a little wire bundle there with a zip tie on it so I need to cut that and then disconnect this whole thing apparently there's four connectors Basically, once I pulled this away just a little bit, you can only get about that far. I had to kind of rotate it, then I could see on the bottom where the zip ties were. There are three zip ties in there, but you can see once you get those disconnected, <clears throat> this thing comes away fairly easily. So the next step is to disconnect these four wire bundles. Uh, and um, I imagine getting all that jam back in there is going to be a real bitch, but we'll see. All right, so basically instructions next. Um, just have you connect the wiring harness and connect these just to make sure it all works before hooking them up, wiring them up to the frame. Kind of makes sense. So the instructions basically say connect the wiring harness. It can only go on one way, and that's pretty much true. Um, well, yeah, it looks like these two long connectors from the harness go out to the lights, obviously. And this is just a pass-through. There was only one connector it could connect to. And it was pretty simple, pretty obvious. Uh, luckily, I didn't have to label these. These are already labeled. Uh, Left-hand turn and right-hand turn. So those are obviously out of the picture. Those just go back to the turn, turn signals. Um, not sure. I think this probably just goes to the uh, the light <clears throat> over the license plate, and this, of course, goes to the brake light. So I'm going to lay these out here so I can see them. And let's turn on the bike here. Yeah, looks like they're lighting up. And let's apply brake. Oh yeah, nice and bright. And let's... All right, so I took a couple days off, uh, mainly due to some uh, medical reasons. I needed a couple days of rest. Anyway, what I did is I just went ahead and taped these on. I just want to see what they look like before I do this and decide not to return them. But I kind of like them. I thought they were turn signals also, but they're not. They're strictly brake and running lights. So let's take a look here and we'll get an idea how bright they are. So there's those running lights. It's really difficult to see on video here. Um, much brighter than it looks on video. And let me see if I can hold this and hit the brakes at the same time. You can see they're pretty bright. And this is from the top. They look even brighter from the back. And they do look much brighter in person. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed with putting these on. All right, so the next step on this, really all it was, is to uh, remove these, uh, <clears throat> remove them, set them aside, 
Uh, I ran the two pieces of the wiring harness that go to the lights back into the frame, back into the fender. Um, so then I can just kind of put them down like this and that will give me my four original connectors. So the uh, next step is basically just to uh, put the tail light back on in reverse order. And I think this is going to be the, probably the more difficult part, getting this harness back in there. It was already tight without having this extra bit of harness uh, to somehow jam in there. So on to that step. <clears throat> All right, just a little note on the uh, wiring harness down here. This is probably going to come out upside down, but <clears throat> let me spin it. The, um, you'll notice the brake lights, where are they? They run up along here. You want to tuck those up underneath here, right up under there. And same thing on this side. And then basically I just zip tied those both down to this little spot here that's made for zip tying. You'll, you'll know when you see it. I don't know if you can see it in the picture. And then I zip tied these together, and it seems to be in pretty good shape to just go right in now. Um, like I said before, this little thing kind of hangs right here, and everything screws right in. Alrighty, <clears throat> standard uh, plate and tail light and blinkers back on. Everything looks good. So the next step is basically to uh, clean the sides here and actually attach the, um, the light strips. You know, it says line them up, use tape to mask it, to uh, mark the edges or whatever. I don't think it's really necessary. It really just goes in one place and hooks along the bottom here. The, uh, you can see the bottom of the light has a little hook around it, a little edge to it. And it just kind of goes right underneath there. And it just goes right on. There's really no two ways to, to go about it here, so I don't think this will be too difficult. I did take the opportunity while the brake light was off to um, uh, really, really clean that fender, and I put a uh, coat of liquid glass on it. Lots of uh, threads on the forum about liquid glass, but this stuff is great. I also have the pre-cleaner and the detail spray so use that in between rides to just clean it up anyway gonna put the lights on now uh, from that point on it'll just be a matter of them really curing in place it says 24 hours uh, and um, it looks like I'm gonna have a lot of extra wiring in there the wiring harness has come down pretty far so I think a lot of the wiring up underneath there is gonna be a matter of just um, kind of zigzagging it and zip tying it and getting it up out of the way making sure it never hits the wheel all right my first beef with these things is I've got all the wiring in there I'm not sure I can't see because I'm so damn close to this but I wrapped I ran both of these cables around behind this bundle here and zip tied them here so we've got our two connectors here I figured it would be easier to bundle these up on one side than having to create two bundles since all the uh, current wiring runs along here anyway to uh, go to the antenna down here. The uh, So the cable from the right, I just took right across the, I guess this is on this fender frame, whatever. Um, but my beef is... All of this freaking extra wiring. I mean, come on, guys. Kiriakin, you guys didn't have to put this much goddamn wiring in there. So I'm just going to uh, zigzag and then zip tie these up over here. There uh, came with a couple of cable stays that I'm going to put up in there and then just zig them in there. Hopefully have enough room to clamp that down. So we shall see. So almost done. All right. So... What I ended up doing was taking the left side, I'm upside down here, uh, yeah, left side light, running it across here, and bundling these all up, essentially going right up the antenna wire. The antenna wire is a nice 
the cable that's already been secured to the fender. Uh, so I didn't have to mess with that. And then I just secured that to that wire. So you can see it's, it's nice and secure, not gonna move. Goes right up into the wiring harness. Uh, wraps around so it comes right down and it's nice and secure. I did not end up using uh, these little guys at all. They're just too small to even get around that. And I don't really think they would provide anything that I'm not getting out of a bracket, uh, out of the uh, tie that's already holding the antenna wire to the fender. So, all good, nice and tight. Of course, it's gonna catch dirt like hell, but nothing we can do about that. I guess I could shrink, shrink wrap the whole thing, but uh, I don't think it really needs it. <clears throat> anyway, project done. Uh, let me fire it up here and see what it looks like. All right, everything's all back together, saddlebags and all. Uh, I first want to do a little demo, see what the uh, lights look like. Those are the Kiriakin lights. It's kind of cool. They actually reflect off the saddlebags a little bit, so they're still visible from the sides. Let's see what the brake light looks like. That's pretty cool. 